Hello and special, special. We were just talking about the special, special. Who is special? You see, in Mexico, there were not these like, I'm a big special bitch. People would not dress differently. They all were dressing the same. Barbie bitches didn't really exist in the general Mexico. I kind of like that. These group distinctions were not there. No, there were class distinctions, that's different. And the Barbie bitches, yeah, who could I be? Didn't exist, not even in Las Fresas. Because they didn't stood there in just their outfits. And definitely not in makeup. Fake blonde is rare and it has a different meaning in Mexico than it used to be in the United States. Yeah, because fake blonde in the States, they think they're gonna look like Marilyn Monroe. Like, this is a good thing. I think, I think looking like Marilyn Monroe is an offense to womanhood. Because she is the symbol of stupidity, not of beauty. Who says she's pretty? Of ignorance and later of drugs of being used by other people. But yes, in the bond was that, I don't know, 40s, 50s, 60s, showing off what, her legs? <laughs> yeah, under that like, woman in red kind of scenario. Yeah, from that movie too, right? Where the air comes out of the wind of the subway. Ultimate idiota. So even Las Fresas in Mexico, they would still do that study, MMEC, Mientras Mi Caso, as a way to become a wife to a husband. And they would eat in special restaurants, or the, the right ones, or just the restaurants with names on it. Yeah, because often I think Mexicans go, let's go eat, and they go to La Cocina de la, de la, de la Esquina, right in the corner. And when you go to, I have a look at where I eat, then you say, I'm gonna go to, and then the stuff has a name. That place or that place. It means something because maybe there's a decoration special. I don't know, something. So you look for style. Yeah, well, class. I think El Tisoncito has style and class. It's just a taqueria. Because you know what you get. Yeah, you stand outdoors and eat tacos al pastor before you go dancing. <laughs> At six. Oh, start dancing starts late. See, I'm not that knowledgeable. I forgot. At eight, whatever. No, I do not. I eat everything in Mexico. I do not. Yes, I even, I even ate, you wanna know? I even ate tacos de buche de nana. <laughs> And now I'm getting kisses from my Mexican people. You know what that is? Hidalgo. That's the street. Hidalgo. This is right on the other side of the Alameda, which is like the Socalo from Mexico City. No, well, the Socalo is not. I'm sorry. Usually it's the park. So this is a taco. There is a head, cabeza de res. It's the head of a cow. And they, are, they pull out the meat, whatever they can. So they call it different ways, buche, nana, whatever. Yeah, I ate it once. I don't want to have it again, please. Yeah, and I ate this on a few times, and yeah, that was great, but I don't want it either. And I love salsas. I love Mexican salsas. Yeah, I'm a favorite to the red ones. Yeah, I eat habanero too. That goes with, oh, cochinita baby. <laughs> yummy the red onions and yeah you did. but not much i'm not very much into very spicy food yeah i used to make in the house the green salsa for myself raw green salsa for quesadillas 
and as you will know quesadillas usually unless of course you go to tipple sun that's a different thing hechas a mano made handmade that's that's different but usually in mexico city queso cheese that would come with the white tortilla the harina usually so and i thought the sauce would go very well the only time i got sick in mexico city was when i made myself one of those I don't know why, that's weird. All by myself. That's a weird subject. Okay, I tell you. When I was a child, uh, elementary school, it's easy for me to determine when, because where we lived, so I have an age range, six to nine. I threw up once, only once. Because it was such an amazing experience to me, it's so horrible, that I remember it. I don't know why. Oh, then she said, drink water with salt because your body needs the salt. Yeah, how disgusting is that? We're not just giving me food with <laughs> salt. I am not, I do not have the experience of, what is this? Lebertran? Is that some liquid of bacalao? I don't even know what that is. No, it's, it's, I heard about it. It's not where I come from. That must have been before. I think everything with this yucky to you, it's not good for you. How many lies, how many times I had to try I was afraid to tell you exactly how I felt I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried